Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we will see how to configure peripheral controls in Sophos Central. Just to give a brief overview, peripheral controls are configured to control the devices, external devices connecting to your workstation. It can be a USB, a CD, DVD or any external storage media. So let's begin with the configuration of the peripheral control policy. Very first you will be going to endpoint protection in Sophos Central. Over here you will click on policies. Now over here you will see an option, second option which is peripheral control. Guys, before we move ahead, let me tell you uh, or let me add a note like we have a detailed discussion on the policies we have seen a detailed overview on the policies base policies applying those policies on computers what are the default policies this everything is covered very much in detail in our previous tutorial which was on threat protection after the discussion we have even configured the threat protection in our previous tutorial so before uh, moving on to this tutorial i would request you to just have a quick overview of the previous tutorial in which we have discussed about the base policies, default policies and how these policies are functional. Quickly we will begin with the configuration. What we have to do over here is we have to, we will just move, uh, leave this base policy as it is. We will create a new policy for the peripheral control. Click on add policy over here. Select an option under feature as peripheral control. As usual, it is asking you whether you want to uh, configure this policy for a user or a device. Now guys, uh, let's say for example, you have a computer over, uh, on this, there are several users. Even the administrator account will be, uh, administrator will also be accessing through his account. So in order to configure the policy and decide that which uh, type of uh, policy you will configure over here, uh, when you are going with the peripheral control, better use the user policy. If you want to restrict each and every user for that particular computer, irrespective whether it is an administrator or anyone, you can go with the device. But in threat protection, we have already seen how the configuring the device. Over here, we will see the policy by configuring user. So over here, we will choose user as a type and click continue. The template is ready for you. You have to give the name. Policy name will be, let's say, lab peripheral control you can give any name now in the uh, previous uh, tutorial where we have configured threat protection over there we have applied this on the computer if you remember over here instead of user it was computer and we have of course a group over here as well so now we have to decide whether you want to define this particular policy for the certain specific users or you want to define a policy on a certain group over here over here we will say no we will apply this policy to a certain users over here so let's say i want to apply this policy for the, the peripheral control for the user like it support security admin it consultant we have welcome other and this one user so we will apply we will just select this and we will choose this option to the assigned users then we will move on to the setting tab over here going to setting tab now you have a option over here manage peripheral set your peripheral setting below whether you want to disable peripheral control monitor but do not block the first option if you select disable peripheral control so whatever it is as soon as the external device is connected it will be blocked it will be disabled the second option is like monitor but do not block so in this case Although you will get a monitoring of each and every device being connected, but it will allow all the peripheral devices. The third option is control access by peripheral type and add exemptions. So over here you can uh, filter the uh, filter the external devices which you want to allow, which you want to exempt in that way. So if you uh, use, like let's say for example select monitor but do not block. So basically what it will do, it will monitor, but it will not block, it will allow each and everything. Third option is a customized option. As soon as you select this option, this all things are enabled. Now you can decide from here what you want to allow, what you want to block. 
let's say for example you have chosen an option control access by peripheral type and add exemptions so over here you can say that the bluetooth device i want to allow secure removal storage you want to block copy drive you want to block infrared if let's say you want to allow modem you want to block optical drive let's say you want to block so in this way you can customize whatever uh, among all these things what you need to allow what you need to block if you select the control access by peripheral type then definitely you get an option uh, over here which uh, peripheral devices you want to allow and which you want to exempt so let's say for example we will be configuring a customized policy because this policy if you say disable straight away it will disable each and everything we will have some uh, policy where we will be customizing it and in this way we have configured the policy you can configure as per your organization requirement now again similar to the threat protection it is saying that uh, what message it should be prompted when the policy is into the action let's say for example you have uh, block secure removable storage so what uh, exactly the end user should say so let's say for example he should get a message this action is blocked by your organization please contact IT department for further assistance so basically if this policy comes into an action uh, and if something gets blocked in that case uh, the desktop messaging will be uh, enabled and this message will be seen to the user policy and force it should be on yes it is on we don't want to specific timing where it should be disabled simply save the policy now we have uh, configured this policy for the six users right let's go to the computers over here and let's see on which computer it is there go to policies over here and over here you will see none of the computers are being there on which this policy is applied the peripheral control policy is applied because we haven't uh, uh, chosen this it admin user if you remember right so this is the reason that this policy is not applied to this particular computer or you can say a particular user let's check for some other computer which has this particular user go to policies over here and you will see that we have allow. Uh, I mean, we have uh, enforced this policy for this particular user, Aziz Sheikh. So you will see that this particular user has a policy enforced lab peripheral control. Let me take you again to the policy just to, uh, to confirm everything. Uh, let's go to the lab peripheral control policy over here. Go to user and just have a quick check. This user, this particular user, Aziz Sheikh, is being assigned. Uh, I mean the policy is enforced for this particular user whereas IT admin for IT admin user it is not enforced so let's again go to the computer and you will see that going to computers over here uh, this particular computer has an IT admin user so if you will check uh, this computer uh, and we will see that uh, the policy peripheral control policy is not enforced for this particular user whereas if you go to other computer which has a user Aziz Sheikh over here you will see that this computer has this policy assigned this peripheral control policy over here now uh, let's say in uh, future you uh, come across a requirement that even that uh, particular user it admin for this also this should be blocked so what you will do simply you will go to policies over here you will be going to lab peripheral control over here and you will select this particular user and simply assign this and save the policy configuration i am going over here to the computer if you just check now the it admin the computer which has it admin user over here you will see now it is blocked so guys uh, over here for, for this particular computer if the computer is logging through this particular user it will be blocked but at the same time if there is some other user for which we haven't assigned a policy then in that case you will be uh, using that user you will be able to connect your devices although which you have blocked in the policy for this particular user but for other user you haven't assigned the policy 
so through a base policy uh, as we have uh, learned earlier in our previous tutorial where we were uh, having an overview we have seen that the by default base policy is applied so if any user similarly if any computer doesn't have any policy enforced the base policy is applied similarly if any user doesn't have any policy enforced then in that case base policy will be applied so that's all about the peripheral control uh, hope you understood this concept how to configure the policy and how to apply it on the user similarly you can assign the policy on the devices as, uh, as well what you have to do is you have to now uh, configure a policy using a device if you want to assign this to the particular device if you like my video guys please subscribe to my youtube channel and do share with your friend that's all in this tutorial thanks and see you in the next tutorial